kibina lichidiawe lichidiko Nyewe njia chileta Kati nizo kujia nizo kukende za kunenga Oh yeah, this post right there. So the person speaking to the gallery is Zinson. He's one of the foremost artists we have here in Uganda. And here he was uh, speaking to a, a group of performers that were supposed to accompany him during his performance at the opening of Salini Regions. And when I saw this, I immediately felt that this was going to be a performance for the books. One that is uh, going to be talked about for ages. And man, you just had to be there to see this performance. If you missed it, I don't know. You did miss. So yeah, this was Vincent preparing for his performance. And if he missed it, because I think this is one of the best performances I've ever seen from Jensen in my few years of uh, engaging with his work. So if you missed it, just try to look for the videos online out there. Yeah, because this was one hell of a performance. So yeah, this is still about uh, Silent Invasions, the exhibition. And we are on another street in Masaka town. As you can see, there's a bunch, a group of other artists in the in the show that are are going to be showing their work here. They're going to be they're going to do some murals on this wall, on you know, this one of the streets. Yeah, it's not only work that is uh, going to be inside the gallery, but work is the work is quite spread out in the city. And uh, there we go. We have uh, him over there. He's an artist from Gulu. You can say hi to the people, yo. You can say hi to the people. Introduce yeah, yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you doing? Yeah, and you are? I'm very nice giving us some time. <laughs> you can tell them your name, man. I'm Joshua Obina. Aha, uh -huh, Joshua. Obina is an artist from Gulu. And he's helping. Kit Gum, yeah, Kit Gum, yeah, there we go. He's helping out uh, Mr. Chikundu Rodney over there. Yeah, he's uh, one of the artists painting on this mural today. Yeah. With uh, Chiyinji. Yeah, say hi to the people Chiyinji. He's one of the artists also painting, painting on the wall. Makano, is Makano part of the group? Nah. Or is just invading? Yeah. You, yeah. Makano, you're not part of the group. <laughs> Your work is inside there. So, Makano is just everywhere. And there we go, we it's have uh, Sai. Sai, are you from, from Gulu? Yeah, I'm from Gulu, Northern Hi. Uganda. What's up? Yeah, Sai is from Gulu. He's also one of the artists doing this mural in Masaka as part of Silent Invasions. There we go. Beautiful city. Beautiful urban center. Masaka town. Yeah. As you can see, it's uh, quite uh, less noisy than Kampala. But well organized, and some people have had to say it's clean. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, some people are yeah, in the corner. And the artists. We can't wait to see what they're going to make up here. Uh, they're going to be the this wall, probably. So they're just putting undercoats on the wall. And let it sit, and then in a few minutes, they can uh, start uh, painting. Yes. Alright people, we are right here at uh, 
um just around Royal University at KM as usual and um yeah we are at uh, the engineering department that's our point of interest today and uh, as you can see we are going to look at so yeah the reason why we at uh, a university you may ask is that we have an artist who is working with the university department engineering department be specific to do their work and she's a Joe and let's go in and see what she's trying to do while she's at the university so let's go right in um, yeah this is the lab um, and him he go to the geology. Alright, as you can see. So yeah, we are right here in the lab with the uh, Ijo. And uh, the engineer, Mr. Area, trying to help out with the work. So, Joe, could you, you know, give us a few words about you know, what you're trying to do here? <laughs> Why are you an artist in a geology lab, to be specific? It's an engineering lab. It's an engineering lab, okay. But he's a geologist, right? Yeah. All right. So right there we have some clay. Uh -huh. So right here we have some clay that they has been baked or dried in the oven. And then so what are we playing with here? Yeah, we are trying to build a a paint brick. Um, and uh, we're just starting the process. We got some clay from Butendi. Mm -hmm. um, and we're now trying to process the clay so we can. I'm sure he's testing a few things. A few things I don't understand yet, so I'm still following. Interesting. For those of you who think that art stops from just uh, painting on canvas, it goes way beyond that. Yeah, this is a lab. As you can see, it doesn't get more serious than this. Sorry? Recording you. Yeah, we go here from recommendations made by um, the head of department of the building and construction department in um, Saint Isidro Technical mm -hmm. Institute. Yeah, that's how we came here. Okay. But this was after we went to a craft shop in Masaka. Yeah. Plays so hard. It was open dried mm. yesterday. So, Mr. Area, you have a you you went to school to study geology or something? No, I mean civil engineering, bachelor's. Oh, yeah. engineer. So it's 
of civil engineering, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think yeah. engineer Sarah also said she's a civil engineer, right? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So when you study civil engineering, you go in depth with the, you know, soils and everything. Material. That is study material. of material. Mm. Yeah. And that's actually why I was directed here. Because mm -hmm. I was interested in like, working with a group that focuses on the material. Mm. You know Sheila and Ashtende? You know Sheila and Ashtende? You know Sheila and Ashtende? No. She came to oh, Ghana. Sheila, yes, yeah, yes, yes. She, she came to Ghana on the mm -hmm. first trip. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, I mean, I think your practice, you, you would uh, be also interested in my work. Mm -hmm. There's some sort of similarity because she also is very much interested in material and, you know, uh, you know, exploring it in depth. Like this. Actually, the last, um, the last solo show she did, she put it in a, in a, in a lab in Macquarie University. It was uh, a kind of, what sort of lab was it? But it was a lab. And whenever she talks about her work, she, you know, she talks about science and everything, but, and, you know, kind of thing. Like I told you, because of its properties, eh? mm -hmm. it swells. Uh, that, uh, so and when it dries, when it gets water, you know, the sink bulb yeah, increases in size, mm -hmm. and then it shrinks, okay? mm -hmm. and it dries. So imagine you've constructed your house and you've used <laughs> that, uh, you know, when it is, but it can be improved. If it is not burned, then you build your house that after it rains. Uh, the house bugs and then shrinks, so you create cracks, eh? Mm -hmm. And fines are no longer, and, uh, not so much designed, eh? Mm -hmm. Okay, Ajo Kisa is the artist we're seeing in this video, and uh, she's from Ghana, born in Accra. And she's an active member of the Black Star Alliance Kumasi. She's also a lecturer at the Kwame Krumah University of Science and Technology. And uh, her interest in narratives and the archival form has resulted in recent investigations into sound, collectivity, and the cultural initiatives of liberation movements across the continent of Africa. But yeah, what we see for this uh, project, why she's in the lab in the first place, is uh, she's trying to build a pink brick, magenta brick to be exact. Because that's the color she's trying to maintain. And uh, she's trying to connect tangentially institutions with craft shops. 
and market women with the bricklayers. So yeah, interesting. That practice is really interesting, and I'm glad to be or privileged to be helping her in this project. So yeah, let's see. It's still ongoing. Let's see how it turns out. Yep. <laughs> What you could do is uh, go ahead and subscribe and uh, share widely uh, to other maybe platforms and uh, let's spread the word, yo. So, alright. Yo, we need the good news to reach all the peoples. Yeah.